Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new weekly tutorial and I'm keep working on OSL objects and this time I will finalize my OSLs explaining how I will do the lamp. This lamp that is for the uh, night zeros, this guy. I will put the lamp in front of him. Maybe you have seen him as a, when I did the showcase of this guy. So now in this tutorial uh, I explain how I will do the lamp for this guy. So we will start first applying the, the painting the gold that is the older frame. So I will just use retributor gold to do the gold of the lamp. Here is on mystery, not still nothing to do with the OSL. This is going to be my base color and then from there I will start working. So just apply thin layer of the retributor armor gold on all the parts. Okay, so I will I will do that, and once I have applied retributor gold, I will be back. So keep preparing the base. Of the lantern. Now I'm going to do a uh, shading on the gold, and I will use Aglax Air Shade to look to make the shading. So again, here there is no much mystery. Just apply uh, the shade. Okay. And yeah, I and I will be back once the shade is is dry and is not. So once the shading on the gold is done, the next step we are going to apply Bajaro Blue on all the interior of the lamp and also on top of the gold. So just a layer and here we maybe we need two layers. I want to have really a solid color of Bajaro Blue and you want to go into all the recesses, so you want everything that is at least blue. Here on the lamp I will almost go everywhere in the beginning. So you see I go to the inside of the lamp. So you want to give the impression that the light is coming from the lamp. This is why I will also paint all these parts. Because this, this should be reflecting the light of the lamp. Because at the end, the, the work of the lamp is to canal, canalize the light out. So normally all the metal should work as a mirror for the light and to help to focus the mirror to the front. So this is why I'm doing this. We have to avoid this mistake that I did here. So we want... We don't want the light to go at the back, of course. And here we are going to play this side, this part here. Okay, let's first do all this on blue. And what is important is try to minimize the shading inside. It's going to be in some parts impossible because it's very deep and we cannot go inside. But we want to minimize the shading inside. And then here we are going to do the edge because normally you have a diffraction on the edges of the metal. And on the top we are going to do the same. We are going to paint all the top. So something like that. Okay. I'm going to paint this part here. Right and all this part here. So we want to do this all these parts blue. Right. We have to think I will make the ball and all these like flashes as the source of light. Right? And then so this bottom has to be completely blue. This should be more or less 
the like on the first layer. Okay, I will let it dry and do a second layer because I want a solid blue at the bottom and I will be back once this is completely dry. Okay, the blue, the blue is applied. Now the next step is I will use white scar and I will start working this from the source to be clear to get in darker in the outside of the lamp. So the first thing I will do there is an S and I will do the S as the source of the light. So I will apply the white on this S. Okay. And now I'm going to do the same on this type of things here and I will do swirling around the S. Something like that. This one naturally will go something like that. Then we do here, here. And I'm going to do a mixed node of white with Baharo blue that was the previous color. So we mixed about 50-50. I will use Lamia medium to make it a little bit thinner. And I will apply this blue, lighter blue next to the source of light here here okay also try to go in the ball in the middle this should be like a magic light and again when we have a source of light we have to avoid shades around the light so we can go So the sheets should come, you want to avoid, I will keep the S in real bright white to show that it's to pop up this one. Now I will do, this can be darker and then what I will do is this thing here will have more light reflecting. Whereas here, then these things that then they get to that angle. Here, we'll do like that. Same on the top. Sorry, my voice, I'm losing my voice now. So, if I'm not very loud, it's because I have some pain on my throat. you want to follow the geometry of the lamp a little bit okay you can see it's a little bit messy in the beginning 
but we are going to clean up all this messiness. Okay, the next step I will do, as I was saying, clean up, go with the hard blowing and we'll mix here. some water in this paint. I'm going to apply here. Okay, and we want to go clean up here. And now one touch that we can do is this part have, have to be shaded. So I'm going to use Seraphine Sepia. Okay. I'm going to shade some parts that normally will not take light. This for example will be here. This is like a small step. This can have a little bit of shade. And I'm using Seraphine Sepia because it will give the impression that is the gold. Is the shade of the gold behind. Remember that the, this is just the light reflecting on top of the gold. Okay, something like that to show that there is a step there in the lab. Okay. So this is wait and no I'm going to play a little bit more of white around the S in the wall show that this is this we want to make brighter from the middle so the, always the idea of an object that is showing light is that the middle should be lighter and the problem we have and is what I'm going to try to cover these holes we want we want to avoid holes you cannot have this way now I go here with white, quite thick, and I try to cover these holes. I don't want these holes to be there. And if I'm modifying the lamp a little bit by doing that, this is the objective. You don't want holes in the light. Should not be dark spots. This is a problem of the sculpt of this lamp. Because you can you should not have and then I go now to paint the swirls. used to have and that way we are going to have the same effect but covering the holes because the holes will give a very odd impression will will the holes will destroy the impression that there is a source of light but the source of light cannot have shading and you want to be the source of light to be very bright so if you have holes and shades, you are killing this impression. This way I'm adding more white there. Now we can balance with a little bit of blue. I mix it there to make transition. Also you want to make this edge quite bright. Here and this edge on the other side. I will let it dry now and I will be back once this is dry. <coughs> so as you can see this hole is looking like now that the white is dry and looks that I'm not shades inside that is was the objective of doing that. The next step that I will do is I will apply just a glaze of blue to give to all this white uh, uh, 
bluish tint. So to do that, I just take a little bit of, of the Bajaro blue I used before. I mix with Lamian medium to make it thin. You just want to tint a little bit, don't want to give a bluish color. So this is the texture that you want, a little bit milky. So I'm going to apply this on top of the white and also on trying to cover just a little bit the S. What you want to avoid is to have a big bunch of white there. So just to soften all the transitions. So the objective is to soften the transitions with the white to make the, the, the color more bluish. And then the, the last thing that I will do, I will go to the borders and this will, this will simulate the, the ref, diffraction of the light. I will go to the borders and put a little bit of this blue on the borders of the of these parts. So here, here, here I want to eliminate this white of course, here. this will finalize this part here and now the next step will be to highlight the gold part and to do that I will use Auric, Auric Armor Gold I will apply this on the gold to do the highlights and especially here next to the border of the lantern to clean up any thing that will make dirt because of the work on the blue. So we want to be sure that the back of the lighter is not. So we, we have to make this clear. Okay. And here this is the Closing and put a little bit here and on top of the gold. And this will finalize the work on, on the lantern. So yeah the, the important thing is to create the opposite. I think on the S as I want to make it pop up I know that the the glaze that I did is drying up. You see that I will apply, especially on the ball, but I want it to be brighter. I want to apply it the white on the S, because the S I want to pop up, I want to be the source of the light. So I will apply a little bit more on the S. I don't mind if it's really bright. Then the, the last thing that I will do just on the ball. I will apply some bright points the ball is the origin of the light so this will be enough this will show that the, the light is coming from the, the lamp and now I will work to highlight the golden but this is not part of of the really of the tutorial or, or the uh, weekly painting of this week so my weekly painting was more focused on how to make this the point here and this is one 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 of the difficult parts of this miniature 
I just have close up. Let me. I will finalize the, the work on the gold later. But to show what is the the main issue, this lamp will go on the front of the of this guy. Okay. So of course I cannot make to reflect in any part. For example, if the, it was a little bit back like that, you can make some blue tint on the armor. But in that case, you cannot do that because it's the most frontal part of the of, of this guy. So this will remain like that and then they will have a lot of OSLs on this guy. Very limited, I don't like to really tint everything. So this is going to be the end point. And uh, here I finalize. Luckily you have seen this miniature uh, previously on my showcase. I just record this during the painting job. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know what do you think about this method. And if you want to see more or you have interest in other techniques, just drop me a message and I will try to cover the technique the best I can. So for now, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!